Hello, today we will finish the side scroller game. Okay, and I think the next feature we, been, we want to implement is the bullet. So, I just create a new file, actually, two new files a bullet.cpp and the bullet.h. So, bullet.h and the bullet.cpp. Actually, the bullet is a pretty simple class. There are just a few functions, so nothing really fancy. Okay, so we have to include the sdl slash sdl.h because we will use it. We will include the IO stream. So if we want to uh, write out something, test purposes or something, then we can do that. Okay, and uh, that's it. So, if not defined, bullet underscore h, then we define the bullet underscore h. Oh, that's right, and end of. Okay, and here we will define the class, so we avoid multiple inclusion, call it bullet. Okay, the bullet is pretty simple, it has a box, an image, and x val and y val and that's all variable it has. And it has a constructor, a getter, so which will return the rectangle. This will need it in the main function to decide whether it collide or not. A move and the show function, and basically that's also pretty simple. So we will need an SDL rect box, and in x well, y well, and an SDL surface image. Okay, that's it. And it has a few public functions like the constructor, bullet which with an SDL surface and it's with IMG it's with an integer x uh, y, uh, y x well y well and that's all ok and it has no con uh, destructor because this surface will be freed in the main function because we don't want to load the image uh, multiple times so we load it one times in the main function and just give the address to any every bullet uh, and that's why we will free this image in the main uh, class not in here so the game class actually okay and it has a move function and a show function which with an SDL surface screen. Okay, that's all function it has. Okay, and now we can write it here. So include the bullet.h as we usually do and start to implement the function. First of all, start with the constructor. Okay, the I, I copy it a little bit okay and just initialize everything so box.x equal x uh, box.height uh, y equal y uh, image equal to img box.width equal to uh, image width box.height equal to image height x well equal to well well that's an integer okay as well and here too all right and uh, x well equal to x well 
y well equal to y equals to y well and that's all we just make is equal to so we just initialize all value basically that's what we did so the move function comes in void bullet this will be very simple the collision detection will not be here so x uh, box dot x plus equal x well and box dot y plus equal y well that's all and then the show function comes in so void bullet show sdl surface screen okay we show the image and we show the entire image to the screen at the coordinate of box okay that was the entire class as i said it is a very simple class so now we can start to actually use those okay so in the game dot uh, h actually in the game dot the header so the header file in the class i just de declare a new vector for the bullet so std colon colon vector and we will store bullet pointers in this vector and i call it bullets first of all obviously we have to include the bullet header file so bullet dot h okay and basically that's it we create a vector which contain all of our bullets and whenever the player shoots we just add a new bullet to the end of the vector okay and uh, and now whenever the player is press the f key i think the f key will be the shoot f d l k f then bullet then we push back to the end of the bullet uh, a new bullet new bullet with the image i call it ball okay we will load this image in a moment uh, x y coordinate is the player one get wrecked so we get the player coordinates and uh, we get the x and we add the width to it so player one get wrecked and we add the width to it the y coordinate is player one get wrecked uh, and we get the y and we add by the no 15 to it okay and the x well will be 5 the y will be, be 0 okay that's it we just push back a new uh, new element to the end of the bullet uh, vector whenever the uh, player press the f key and we break from here as well as we did with the other keys okay and now we have to load that ball image actually i create a new surface for this for that ball image so ball and i load it here in the constructor ball equal to a load image and this is called bullet.bmp okay so we load the image so we can use it and actually free the image in here not in the destructor so sdl free surface well okay we freed the surface and we need one more thing uh, because we uh, reserve the memory dynamically we have to delete that memory so in the destructor 
I use the for loop which will de destroy all of the bullets. So for int i equals zero, I less than the size of the array of bullets array. So bullet dot size i plus plus and just delete all of the bullets i. So we just delete all of the bullets whenever we is escape. Okay and in the main loop we just show and move the uh, yeah the bullet so i use the for loop to do that so for int i equals zero i less than bullet dot size i plus plus and bullet i move so we just move all of the bullets and then we do the same thing so we show all of the bullets show and to the screen okay that's it so I just use the for loop to go through every element and show it and first move it and then show it okay i think it should work although it's not all functionality because we should delete the bullet whenever it is uh, reached outside of the screen or collide we will implement it in a moment so we can start to compile the program okay the error in the in the bullet.h header file and uh, oh a parenthesis now it's compiled now that was all of the program problem so whenever I hit the F key it shoots I can do that multiple times so that simple was it to make it okay but uh, now we have to delete the actual at uh, the bullet whenever it goes outside of the screen or hit a wall okay let's do that so in here uh, let me see Alright, so we basically have to first examine if it is outside of the screen. So I make it in the logic section uh, in here. So before the move. Okay, so first of all I go through all of the elements. So in i equals zero, I let them well let's want size i plus plus and uh, I just get all of the element so if a bullet uh, I get wrecked X is greater than greater or equal than a base class cohort dot x plus base class cohort dot y so if it is outside of the screen or it is uh, outside of the screen in the other direction so bullet e okay I just copy this because the almost this is just we have to change the relation sign okay less or equal then and we add the width of the ballot so ballot i get rest width okay so if it is outside of the screen then we do two things we delete it and uh, remove it from the vector so delete bullets i 
and we remove the element from the vector.